Validation is our most effective defense against shame as children and as an adult. Um, there's another form of validation which is actually more effective and healthier uh, for us, and it is part of healthy development uh, than seeking validation from others. But for at this point, what I'd like for us to really drive home and understand is that validation, am I getting, it sounds like I'm getting some feedback, is that, I don't know where that's coming from. Um, our most effective defense against shame is validation because it tells us we fit in. The problem with getting validation outside of ourselves is that it, is, it seems to be temporary. It lasts for a short while and then it wears off and then you've got to get more. And so you're on kind of a treadmill when you're dependent on external validation. It works but it doesn't work very well. So as we develop and as our brains develop and as we go into adulthood, one of the things that nature gives us is the ability to take that validation, the getting it from external and to bring it inside of ourselves and to be able to self-validate. But in order to learn to self-validate, we really have to have seen and observed that in our environment growing up. And when we haven't had that ability, when we haven't seen that skill, we constantly reach outside ourselves for validation from others. And we can go through life doing that. And many of you know, some of us, including myself, have struggled with this in our own adult lives. I mean, I've written eight books, finished two PhDs, have been the CEO of a treatment. So what is that about? Really? Not enough. Yeah. Not enough. Yeah. Not enough. And some of you in the room are smiling, well, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's like we, we become more sophisticated and mommy, am I okay? Is it, do I look good? Is this all right? But we just have a more sophisticated way of going about it. And we have all kinds of rational explanations that we wrap around it to make it look good and make it seem acceptable and wonderful and that. But what it really becomes is that inability for us to self-validate. To say, I am okay because I am. And nowhere Nowhere is this more relevant than when patients come in to treatment for drug and alcohol. Everything has been, they, they, they're at the bottom typically. They've lost, it's the worst day of their life. They're either there because they really are wanting to get help or they're there because somebody has told them that they're going to leave them or reject them or a court has told them that, they're going to, that their life is, as they know it is going to be on hold for a while until they get some help. However they come about it, it is often the worst day of their life because there is incredible sense of shame over what they've done. Aside from the work of addiction, aside from treating the addiction, aside from working with all of the things that we know that work so effectively with addiction, there is that piece that I would offer to you, and I can tell you this is having run a treatment center, so I, I own a piece of this. We don't pay enough attention to the shame. We don't. Because long after you get sober, just like, just like a gay man or lesbian woman long after they come out of the closet, that piece remains. And in many ways, that's the piece that will trouble us the most and affect our lives the most, is the ability to effectively learn to self-validate so that we can finally decrease the shame and be done with it. So that when it comes up, we're able to self-validate and it goes down until it comes back again. And, and we eventually get to a place where we're able to self-validate and the shame stays at bay and doesn't affect our lives.